Hello guys, name is Vadim, you are on VRM24.com YouTube channel and today we will disassemble and change the battery on the smartwatch Samsung Gears S3 Frontier. I want to say one important thing, this video is not a promo or advertising. The idea of this video is to answer two frequently asked questions. How to replace the original battery with a battery with a higher capacity? and how to generally replace the battery on the smartwatch and assemble it back. We decided to start by unpacking the parcel with the battery. We ordered it on Chinese website called AliExpress. Our battery is not ordinary and we will talk about it little later. Then we will disassemble the watch, replace the battery and put it back together. And yes, when I comment, I will use the manufacturer terminology to refer to the spark parts. Unpacking the parcel with a battery. We cut our parcel with the scissors. Inside we can see our gift. It is a wristband with a carved wooden fish. We unfold the small package. There are ziplock bag with a set of tools and pack with a battery. Inside the small transparent ziplock bag are screwdrivers, opening tools, SIM card tray ejection tool, suction cup. We take out the battery pack, we can see the brand, it is H Sabat, the Chinese manufacturer, battery capacity 1350 mAh, and yes, the original battery capacity is 380 mAh. Inside the package we also have a battery adhesive tax kit. These tags are similar to the iPhone battery adhesive tags. Let's move on to the disassembly. We rate the disassembly and replacement of the battery as two gears or medium difficulty in our difficulty rating. Disassembly, replacement and assembly of this smartwatch will take approximately 30 minutes. Disassembly features. Replacement will be long enough. The display has no protection inside and it is vulnerable to damage. The specific design does not allow disconnecting the battery until the moment when we take out the bracket. First of all, we detach the wrist strap. For each piece of the strap, we pull back the spring pusher and remove them. We take a 3-wing 2.0mm screwdriver, aka Y2O, and unscrew four screws securing the back cover. After we pull all the screws stuck in the cover. We take a plastic tool to pick up the back cover. With the light movements we try to try to open the cover. The sealant has dried and literally welded the cover so it will take some time to remove it. We disconnect the display and touch screen connectors with a non-metal tool. We still have the circuit board powered by the battery. Using a Philips 1.5mm screwdriver or hash 3 o unscrew two screws. Then carefully pick up the bracket, I call it bed, and take it out. The display model cable will interfere with us a little. We have to put it through the rectangle hole in the bracket. Now we need to turn the bracket over and unscrew one screw holding the motherboard and bracket. For this we take Philips 1.5mm screwdriver or hash 3 o We need to slightly separate the printed circuit board from the bracket to lift and detach the battery contact pad. We have to disconnect the battery this way because there are spring contacts on the circuit board and the battery cable with a platform for this context is pressed against the brake. Only after that we can detach the cable of the side buttons. The cable is slightly glued, you need to gently pry with a thin tool and bend it up slightly too. So we remove the brake. There are a speaker, linear motor, it is a variation of the vibration motor, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, a small board as I understand with a sensor for the bezel. On the front case we have a Super AMOLED display and magnetic secure transmission. This is a mobile payment feature. 
On the circuit board, there are many sensors like a gyro, barometer, HRM, and also there are side buttons, microphone, GPS, NFC, and spring contacts for the battery. We are moving on to replacing the battery. Now we need to detach the battery. In our case, the battery is swollen, it is defective, and it is glued to the motherboard. We insert a plastic film between the battery and the circuit board, spray isopropyl alcohol so that alcohol can get under the battery and onto the adhesive base, and carefully separate the battery. It is slightly glued, but over the entire surface. We take out a new battery, it has the same part number EBBR760ABE, but the declared capacity is 1350 mAh per hour, significantly exceeds the capacity of the original battery, which is 380 mAh per hour. We cleaned the surface of the circuit board. For this, we used isopropyl alcohol and a smell rag. Now we see a large copper plate of passive head sync system on which the battery is glued. For gluing, we traditionally use 3M adhesive tape. We glue two pieces of the adhesive to the battery and try on the battery for reassembly. We insert the battery into the bracket and attach the pads with the contacts. We peel off the release liners on the battery and attach the motherboard and the buttons cable to the brake. Using a Philips 1.5mm screwdriver, aka Hash 3O, we screw in two screws that hold the motherboard, battery and brake together. Now the motherboard is powered by the battery and we need to be as careful as possible. We need to screw in one screw more. The screwdriver is the same. We push the display and sensor cable through the hole in the bracket and insert our assembly into the front case with a display module. We connect the display and touch screen connectors. Then we remove the remnants of the old sealant on the back cover. Now we need to check that we have assembled everything correctly and the gears is working. We attach the back cover and turn on the smartwatch. Display, touch screen, bezel and battery work. We can also test the speaker, Bluetooth or microphone by simply syncing the watch with a smartphone. We also check do the watch is charging or not. We install them on the charger. If everything works well, we open the back cover again and now we need to apply sealant to the edge of the back cover. We use a T7000 sealant. We attach the back cover carefully, then we take a 3-wing 2.0mm screwdriver, aka Y20, and screw in four screws to fasten the back cover. After assembly, moisten a small cloth or rag with isopropyl alcohol and remove the remaining sealant. We attach the strap to the smartwatch and this is the end of the battery replacement. Ok guys, thank you for watching, but if you have already watched up to this point, do not forget to subscribe. By the way, we will post battery test results on our Instagram, so check it too. Take care of yourself and see you in the next video. All I need are some better days, cause all I want and I pray, I believe in the better days.